Ethan's up. He says, hey guys, hope you're enjoying the holidays. This question is about local Kingpin video using the Creative Commons videos for your YouTube channel. I understand that these videos are free to use and modify, but I noticed that some of the CC videos look very professional, had their company logo in the lower corner of the video. I may be wrong, but I remember Bradley saying in one training videos that you can put your logo in front of the old logo from branding purposes, but I just want to confirm, is it okay to place your logo in front of theirs? I don't know that, um, Ethan, and I don't remember ever saying that anywhere. Um, that might've been somebody else that had said that. But uh, I, I typically do not do that because I'm not sure what the Creative Commons licensing um, states when it comes to that. So uh, in, you know, from my assumption without doing any research, I don't think that that would be legal to do. I mean, you know, what's the worst that could happen? You could get somebody uh, that would say, you know, take the video down or they'll report you to YouTube and you get a strike on your channel. Um, you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think anybody, I, there would actually be any legal recourse, but I'm not an attorney, so I'm not giving legal advice. <laughs> uh, but I just want to let you know that I, I, I typically will not do that. Well, um, you know, take somebody else's video and then put a, a logo over top theirs. Usually I will try to find if I'm going to use creative commons, which I don't very often. I know, um, you know, Justin Sardi likes to do that. Zane Miller likes to do that. I, I typically don't, I like to have videos made instead. So I'll just go to Fiverr or I'll go to Upwork and I'll hire somebody to create videos for me as opposed to actually using Creative Commons videos. If I can't find one, if I, you know, if you find something that's decent that you don't have to like modify with your in cover up logos and all that stuff, then use that. But if you have to go through that, that trouble, um, again, I, I don't know what the legal requirements are for that or the consequences of doing that. So I, t I just won't, I won't even bother is my point. Okay. I'm just thinking to myself why the original creator would put their logo there in the first place and it seems entirely possible to me that some may do this to discourage anyone else from stealing and rebranding the videos. Could some of the CC videos been marked by, as CC by accident? Yes, Ethan. That is most likely what's, what has happened um, for creative, uh, well, I don't want to say most likely, but that's a there's a good chance that some of those videos were uploaded with, under the Creative Commons uh, attribute without the the uploader even noticing it or, or recognizing that being aware of it right so that that would be my first guess but it also could just be that people um are looking to get more traction out of their videos and so they add them as creative commons because they know that more people will uh look at them and possibly use them for their own marketing efforts without taking the logo off right so i mean it could be it could be that that was done intentionally i'm not sure what the intent was uh for this particular video you're talking about but again i i I typically would not do that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wanted to add real quick that Ethan, there are several levels of Creative Common. Like Creative Common, you can use for commercial use without, you know, citing the source. And there are some Creative Commons that you will be compelled, and you will be, you know, it will be compulsory for you to cite the source. You know, so I there because there are several levels and, and several categories or, or licenses free to use for commercial, you know, without citing the source, those kind of things. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that you have come across one of that videos, one of those videos that will need you to cite the source, you know? Yeah. Um, so you can use it, but you need to give them credit, which is fine. I mean, if you want to use it, go ahead. Now, with that said, you can get videos done for whatever you're doing on Fiverr for five bucks or 10 bucks, you know? So I, yeah, like, even, I, I uh, and know. honestly, Fiverr video is typically a good a good Fiverr video now will cost you 30, 35 bucks, whatever. Not a big deal. I mean, right. if it's something you know, something you could do, Ethan, is take take the Creative Commons video and set, you, you could fire find a. Um, in fact, you could use outsource Kingpin <laughs> to find a video editor that you could hire on an as needed basis, like a virtual assistant, right? So you could hire a video editor uh, that and then essentially just send the video, the Creative Commons video to the video editor and say, look, I want something like this. Can you make it happen? You know, and, and, and a lot of the times they can duplicate something similar to that and it'll be unique to you. So it'll be your own video at that point. You can, you're free to do what you want with it without having to worry about uh, any sort of legal action <laughs> for, for misusing Creative Commons, if that makes sense.